Hi everyone, I just wanted to let you know what you're doing for biology this week, but before I go on, make sure you have your biology book and your study guide. Go ahead and get that now and come right back so we can get started. Okay, you should have your study guide and your book. Before we go there, I just want you to look up at the board. Okay, so I have four things that you need to be aware of. Very important page, 69 and 70. You need to review your vocabulary before you take your test. There's going to be a Quizlet link posted in Quick Schools that will help you to review for the material that will be on your test. And you're going to review your study guide. So I'm going to kind of start at the bottom and work my way up. Okay? So, your study guide. We went over this in class last week. And we checked all of our answers and we even did some of the on your owns. If you're feeling a little hesitant about your knowledge on some of those, the on your owns are great practice for the test. You can go through some of those. Remember that the answer, I'm going to go to the page. The answers for the on your owns start on page 93 and they're also on 94. So if you need a little help with just a refresher, that's a great place to start. Now, your study guide. You have all this vocabulary. All of these are on your note cards. You've gone over them, but you need to review them again. Because sometimes, not only will you have to do a definition, but you'll have to know what the word means in order to answer a question further on in the test. Okay, now, something I want to point out to you. There's a study note right here on your study guide, okay? Right there. And this is what it says. Study the images and organisms found in figure 3.1. 3.1 is page 69 and 70, okay? You will be expected to place these organisms into the correct subkingdom and the phylum we have up here, okay? So you need to know the subkingdom, are they protozoa or are they algae? And which phylum do they belong to? So you need to make sure you review that. The great thing about page 69 and 70 is there are pictures and they also have the phylum on there they're going to tell you if they're protozoa, what their locomotion is. How do they move? How do they get from one place to another place? Do they use flagellum like the euglena? Do they have no locomotion at all like the sporozoa? Like the sarcodina, do they have pseudopods? Or do they have cilia like the paramecium? So those things, for example, that you're going to need to know. On your test, you will have to identify pictures. There will be a picture of an amoeba. You have to differentiate which one's an amoeba, which one's a euglena, which one's a diatom, which one is a volvox. You need to know the differences between these things and be able to identify them in pictures. So page 69 and 70 will be a valuable tool for you to use to prep for the test. Okay, now, I want you to particularly look in your study guide at number 16, okay? That is on page 4 in your study guide. And 16 says, give the main function of each of the organelles listed on the left. Also, choose from the list on the right at least one phylum that has organisms which possess the organelle. So you need to know what a food vacuole is, contract vacuole, flagellum, chloroplast, eye, eye spot, cilia, nucleus, oral groove. You need to be familiar with all of those things and know which phylum, which one of these phylums has those objects. Okay? Really, really important. Okay? Um, that is pretty much it. Um, besides reviewing your vocabulary and the Quizlet link. So I really like Quizlet because it gives you some different ways that you can learn. You can do flashcards. I think there's a, one where it'll show the word and then the word will disappear. You can match it to the definition. Um, and there's somewhere you can just go down the list. Whatever works for you. Um, there's different ways. Now, when we come back, we're going to start Module 4, okay, which is Kingdom Fungi. All right, so if you want to read on ahead, get a little familiar with Kingdom Fungi, that would be great. Um, but I'm not going to give you the packet. 
we're just going to focus on doing well on the test. And then when we get back and we're fresh and we've rested and we've had a good break, we're going to dive in to Kingdom Fungi Module 4. Now, if you have any questions, let me know. When you take your test, it looks like this. You're going to have, it's just two pages. You're going to have pictures. These are some of the pictures that I've told you about. Here and here, okay? So you're going to need to, and we'll read the directions to you for the pictures. Classify each organism below in its proper subkingdom. So is it protozoa, is it algae? And what phylum is it? So remember, use page 69 and 70, that's gonna help you ace this section, okay? And if you wanna know how to spell it, at the beginning of your test, there's a list right here. Okay, they're not in order, but they're spelled correctly so that you can spell them correctly on the back part of your test. Okay, now, as always, this is no notes test, okay? So you have 90 minutes to complete this, have someone time you, and get in a quiet place where you can focus. I know you're gonna do really well. I will be posting all your other grades from two and the module this week. So be on the lookout for those probably by the weekend. Everything will be up, that's my goal. Um, I hope you guys have a great fall break and do really well on your test. If you have questions, please do not hesitate to message me on Quick Schools and I'd be happy to help you in whatever way I can. All right, guys, have a great week, and I will see you soon.